Lord. So right from the very beginning, Solomon was a unique child. He was loved by God. He was favored by God because God had already promised that uh, through David's son, the Messiah would come. There was a couple things that he did. He showed compassion at first which is amazing for a young guy, and in the end, he demonstrated the leadership necessary to make the hard calls. God appeared to Solomon, remember, a couple different times, and what happened the first time is God, God told Solomon, he said, ask whatever you wish, and I'll do it for you. He acknowledged that David's God was also his God. In verse 7, he says, O Lord, my Lord, O Lord, my God. And to Solomon, you see, this was a personal thing. It was a personal relationship. He acknowledged that his kingship was out of God's mercy. It was out of God's goodness. He saw God's sovereignty over his circumstances. He saw that God is in control of this thing. God is the one guiding my life. God is the one who brought me to this place. It is a God thing. It is his choice. It is not my choice. It's all about God and what God wants. And Solomon, as a young man, put his faith and trust, you see, in God's promises. In other words, he was a believer. For us today, we put our faith and trust in the one who makes these promises, Jesus. 